gonna be looking at Fate's Day and Night Unlimited Blade Works. Now, if you don't know about Unlimited Blade Works or Fate's Day and Night, just know that Fate's Day and Night is based on a long running series. A long running series. And this series has gone on to become one of the most successful anime franchises ever. Oh, yeah. So, Fate's Day and Night Unlimited Blade Works focuses on a young man named Shiro Emiya who gets engulfed in the war that's called the Holy Grail War. And the Holy Grail War is where other servants and legendary spirits like Saber, who is actually King Arthur, or other characters like that, like Gilgamesh, end up in a war for a thing called the Holy Grail, which will grant any one man a wish. Now, the whole concept of Fate Day Night is them trying to fight each other in battle to get that Holy Grail War. Oh yeah, it's nice. Now, the thing about Fate Day Night that makes it so great is the fact that, compared to the original one, Ephotable took this one and made some beautiful graphics. Oh, so beautiful. These graphics were amazing. Animation-wise, Unblended Blade Works has to be one of the nicest series I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah. Now, I really enjoyed Unlimited Blade Works. I thought it was a great show. It had some great appeal to it. The action was good. The storytelling was good. The narration was excellent. And like I said before, the animation is solid. Now, I'll say this right now. Sometimes, the series does drag on a little bit. Sometimes. Not too much, but just a little bit sometimes. And the problem with that is that sometimes some episodes are a little too narrative. A little too heavy on the narrative. Making for some boring episodes at times, but overall the story is still very very well executed. Oh, so well executed Now I will say that honestly, you know, I love Fate's Day Night. I'm a huge huge fan Huge fan of Fate's Day Night. It's such a great work uh, That I think it's probably one of the better anime series out there to be honest. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect It's not a masterpiece, but it's a great great show now, if you don't know, this story actually focuses on two characters, namely, though. Focuses on Shiro and Rin. Oh, Rin. Rin's hot. Now, the concept is that these two are going to be your center characters for this whole thing. And you're going to be seeing it through their eyes, essentially, for the most part. Always through their eyes. But in comparison to the other Fate's Day Night stories, this one is really centered on them. Because as a whole, Fate's Day Night usually focuses on different characters. The original one focused on, you know, Shiro and Sakura more than Rin. Rin was there as a character, a very important character, but it wasn't the center focus. This one is Shiro and Rin. Now, there is going to be a new series coming out, which is going to be focused more on Sakura again, but it's going to be under the Ufotable works, so you know it's going to be good. Oh, it's going to be really good. It's going to be really well done. Really. Some excellent animation, I'm sure. But, for the most part, this show was really... A great great show and overall I highly highly recommend it you know it's got some great action it's got some great storytelling such good storytelling oh my god it's such amazing storytelling seriously that overall you will find that this is a good good example of a good anime series it's why you photobal is so well known oh you I love you I love you and you photobal amazing that's why if I had to give a score to unlimited blade works and if it ain't through F, I give it an A. Oh, almost A plus. Very close. Like I said, a few boring episodes, but overall, still a solid, solid, solid entry into the Fate State Night world. Such a solid entry. Anyways, guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this great review, right? My voice is great like this. Ah, oh, it's awesome, right? So cool. ASMR is cool. Anyways. April Fools everyone. I mean the review wasn't an April Fools. It's it, that's really what I would give the score to it is an A, but the video was an April Fools joke. I hope you enjoyed it. It's it, it was really hard not to laugh during this whole thing. I'm serious, like I wanna laugh non stop. But I'm trying not to. It's really a pain in the ass. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great blessed day. As always, until I pass cross again in the next review. Oh the next review. Have a good one. Bye-bye. And if you're watching this tonight, have a great, great night.